again with Drew. Hello everyone. It's that time again where we do another DIY collab. collab. And you guys really like these, so we're gonna keep them up. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up too. Um, but today's video is just gonna be, as usual, some very minimal DIY decor pieces. That's all we can seem to do is minimal, white, black, maybe some metallic, just really easy room decor that looks so good. And I honestly really think this is the best one. I yeah, think this is the best this one. This is a really good one, so I this think you guys are gonna good. enjoy. Make sure to pop over to my video yeah, too. Yeah, go check little out little self promo. I did one as well, which Four DIYs on Nastasha's channel right now, four and then four on mine as so well. So if you aren't already so. subscribed, if you haven't already seen the, like these collabs that we do, his link will be in the description box down below. So watch his video after you're done watching this video, and I guess that's it. Yeah, enjoy. For this first DIY, we're going to be making these vintage mirrors. I absolutely love them. I'm getting like West Elm vibes. So you're gonna need mirrors. You're gonna need two that are like different sizes. I use some hammered spray paint, a hot glue gun, painter's tape, and lastly some chain. So starting off with the painter's tape, you're just going to use this to create a border, however thick or thin you want it. And I kind of made it uneven because I feel like that adds to the vintage vibe. And then I just took my scissors and snipped along the edges of the painter's tape because you want it to be like a perfect where I will show you a clip here of what it should look like. After that's done, you wanna go back in and cover the center so spray paint doesn't get on it. I used about one to two layers of just regular printer paper for this. So I put it down, folded down the edges, and then secured it down with more painter's tape. Then I went in with this hammered spray paint, and guys, I'm obsessed with this. So it takes like an hour to dry, and the finish of it is absolutely amazing. So you just wanna go in and be very light with the spray paint. After it's dry, you wanna go ahead and peel off your paper and your painter tape nice and slowly and then once that's done I just flipped one of them over to the back and I secured the chain with some hot glue keep in mind you cannot hang this on the wall if you wanted to you could secure it with some hooks and e6000 but I just kind of wanted to layer them on the wall as you will see here the hot glue dries instantly and look at how amazing these mirrors turned out I absolutely love them for this next DIY, we're going to be making this geometric plant holder. For this, you're going to need some wooden dowels, spray paint, a mini saw, a paper mache pot, some foam, a fake plant, a hot glue gun, and a ruler. So for this, I'm just taking my spray paint and spraying two coats of this chalkboard paint to the paper mache pot. After that's done, you're gonna take your saw and be really careful with this. So you're gonna need a total of eight pieces for this DIY. So my measurements that I'm using for this are four inches and eight inches. So you're gonna need eight of the smaller ones and four of the larger measurements. So starting off, you're going to hot glue them together in this formation. You're going to need two of these little squares that you'll be making. So just take your hot glue, add a little dollop. Be very careful with this. You want it to be nice and precise or else the plant will not stand up. So yeah, you're gonna make that little cube. After that's done, you're gonna repeat this process and make another cube. Then you're gonna take your larger pieces and glue them on the edges of your first cube. Make sure you're holding them up so it's nice and sturdy and secure and they dry going upward. After that's done, you're gonna add a little dollop of hot glue onto all of the top pieces and then just secure your last little square on the top. You're all done with your little plant holder, but for the plant, I just took my paper mache, little cup here, I cut out a little piece of foam again using the saw. This is just gonna secure like the fake um, plant that I'm putting in here. If you're going to use a real plant, it's going to be a lot heavier, so I would not recommend it. So I'm just sticking these little leaves in the foam just so it can appear a little bit nicer and I can really control where the leaves are going to fall. And after that, you are all done with your new plant holder. For this rustic stump stand, you are going to need a little stump piece, some wire, a wire cutter, a hot glue gun, and lastly for this, you're just going to need a ruler. So taking my ruler, I think I did measurements of about seven inches. So you're gonna cut one piece of wire to the seven inches and then just make two more the same length. So they should look like this when you're done. And they're very easy to bend and shape. So you're gonna bend them into almost like a horseshoe shape, but you wanna have two flat ends on the side of each of them and this is what's gonna help it stand up so I'm inserting a clip of what your little wire pieces should look like here this is what you're going for so after that's done you're just gonna take a ton of hot glue and yes hot glue will work for this I've tried it my candle still standing really nicely on this so just use a ton of hot glue and then kind of lift the pieces of wire to secure it down all the way and again just repeat this process I would just use a ton of hot glue just to really make sure it's nice and secure and after that you're all done with your new rustic stump stand this is definitely my favorite this abstract word canvas turned out so well so for this you're just going to need some cardboard letters a canvas 
I use black acrylic paint and lastly a hot glue gun. It's super simple. So I'm spelling out the word Gucci and um, you're just gonna paint two layers of this black acrylic paint onto the cardboard letters. I will link everything down below by the way. And yeah, after those are nicely painted and done drying, they take about like 15 minutes to dry. I arranged the letters and you want them to go in like a circular formation. This is what's making it abstract. So after that and you've placed them where you want them to go, just take your hot glue, add a little bit of it, not too much, you don't want it to like overflow onto the top of the letters, but just place the letters down and kind of like gently tap them. And you're just gonna repeat this process for all of your different letters and it dries instantly and you're all done with your new canvas. So those were all of the DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to click on that and subscribe to Drew. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.